What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel for another episode here on the Torque Drift Beta. We are here today by a request from a subscriber about looking into my Supra tune. So I have been working on the Supra here recently. So we're going to look into it, see what I got set up into it. And it looks like we got some five races going. Looks like we got some uh, Hakone No Fear, Ocean Drive, Western Pinch, Jump. And then we got a zigzag run, and then of course Cali Banks. So we got some, uh, got some tracks to run here today. But before we get into that, let's get into the nitty gritty of the Supra. It is not a pro level car yet, but uh, it's working there. You can see we just got some uh, reflective green decals over there. Rad Dan flipped backwards on the uh, reverse image on the other side. So. The car is basically uh, a just under pro level car. Um, I do have some more pro parts coming, which are not here yet, right there. Got turbo coming. So we are rocking an import turbo. Oh, too far back. Go back into it. So currently, as for right now, we are rocking the stroked RB26 DET. And then uh, we are rocking a pro clutch at 0.3 shift delay and negative 0.3 clutch kick power. Um, that's what we're rocking for the clutch. We are rocking an import exhaust and the import turbo, which boosts all the way up to 11. And as for ECU, we are running the Pro Lynx G4 Extreme ECU set at 5200 RPMs, 1200 idle, and 8700 RPM limiter. So it's a hot, we are set for a high, uh, high revving. We are rocking some, uh, ad, uh, advan wheels with, uh, 1.73 track in the front, 16 PSI, 35 profile, nine and a half inch wide tire. That gives us a, a little bit of a little bit of poke out there. And then for coilovers, we're rocking import coilovers at a 0.14 and 30, 13 kilograms in the front. As for tires, we are rocking the uh, Nexon tires. We are rocking just aftermarket calipers at 50%. Don't really use brakes too, too much. So, and as for the angle kit, we are running now a pro angle kit. Uh, we are rocking 65 degrees of steering lock, cambers at negative 6.39, half degree of tow, negative half degree, nine caster. So that's what we're rocking in the front. And then as for the back, we are rocking negative two and one sixteenth for our angle kit. And then we are running uh, import coilovers at 14 and 10. And then as for alloys, we are rocking 166, 14 PSI, 35 profile, nine and a half inch wide. So it doesn't poke as much as the front, but it's still got a little bit of a nice fitment. And as for differential, we are having a pro diff at 80% lock and final drive at a 4.68. I uh, haven't really messed with the final drive a lot, so it's definitely something we are going to have to mess with soon. We are rocking the uh, pro body kit at uh, 20 and 10. So that's kind of the setup right now that I got on the Supra. So we're just going to head to the track and uh, rip it so you guys can see how it rips. It uh, definitely handles pretty well. So I feel like we're going to start off on the zigzag run. The car likes fourth gear. Usually it goes into fourth and stays into fourth. Um, like I said, it is an import, 818 horsepower. We're running the Nexon Nefera tires, just like how they look. And because 18, 118 horsepower and the torque we have in this car definitely uh, seems like it's good. I know this guy from the page. He's a dang good drifter. So this is going to be a tough battle. So we're going to see how this works. Hopefully we can uh, get a decent run here. We're gonna kick it, start kicking it sideways, start getting some angle and some things. That was probably the wrong time to enter, but we kind of saved that a little bit. Didn't run the wall like I should have, I'm only 23. He's gonna definitely rock us. The car handles pretty well. Um, he's gonna definitely work us, because yeah, right there, 50. He probably, uh, did the right zigzag run and got right on that wall. So we'll try and get a good chase on him. Uh, I knew as soon as I saw his car, uh, he definitely uh, was going to do a, a damn good run. Oh, so he started really early. 
Oh dang, he's got a lot of power to be able to do that. I'm gonna cut the shell to try to gain some proximity. He was right on that wall too. So, we did lose that first battle, but I did not expect to win that one right away. Um, Super does handle really well though, so no complaints on the Super aspect. Yeah, he got a really good kick too, so. We got walked, but um, we're just here to showcase the Super Tune and uh, get it going and, uh, you know, have a little fun with it here on the Torch Drift Beta. Definitely uh, also having fun on the um, Horizon 4 demo with the wheel cam and the wheel setup and everything on those lines. So we're going to do no fear run here. Hopefully we can get a good run here because I do remember this track. I did have some good runs in the Super before. So hopefully we can do it again while I'm actually recording and not off recording. Who are we going against? It's pretty, uh, pretty modest paint, but looks good. I like it. All right, no fear run here on Hakone. Get that thing right into fourth gear. Kick it sideways, rid of man. Oh, okay. Apparently, we did not lose our points there, but we are way off for this uh, bank run. So that uh, wall tap kind of uh, kind of screwed us up a little bit. Um, so we were not able to get that bank run like I wanted to. The car probably doesn't have enough power to run the bank fully, but um, I got scared on entry when I hit the wall. I thought we were gonna lose everything. So not doing uh, not doing great right now in the uh, tandem battles. But the car does handle very well. It's not scraping on the ground. That's him scraping. Ooh, just a little tap. That's him actually scraping on the ground, not me. Um, this car does scrape every so often, but not much anymore. Ah, oh, I see what he did. He used it for the second half. Ah, okay. See, now I see what I should have done. I should have done that and cut inside and forgot the earlier one and tried to get the later one to get high on that bank. We may try this one again here um, soon, wall ride to cone. Um, because that was definitely a very interesting, interesting run at the, you know, dynamic cameras freaking out right now. So let's go to Western Pinch and see if we can't get a run here. I have not had any really issues with this tune. It's a very modest tune with the angle. It can save itself. Um, I mean, I haven't messed with Final Drive much, but this is what I've been running, and I've, it's kind of a very good suspension setup and a good steering setup. I kind of, uh, I'm very happy with how the car handles with what power it's got right now. Ooh, okay, hello. Very uh, aggressive tiger-like looking uh, looking paint scheme. So, like I said, just a little look at the Supra tune here, just to see what I'm rocking on this Supra. And as you can see, it, it can hold its angle and it can get its own angle. We're gonna bring this out wide. Let's see if we can't. Ah, uh, we're gonna lose that. It's not out wide enough for those. See, I should probably save some of my offline runs because some of my offline runs are amazing and when I'm online recording it's just somewhat uh, horrible but we are close to him on that run wasn't too bad of a run so hopefully we can get him on the chase we're gonna have to uh, try and stick to this man's door to make sure we can get a good run take it all the way up in the fourth gear right away oh, okay you scared me I thought he was going to come over into me. Oh, that would have been bad if we would have hit that wall right there and instantly knocked ourselves out. See, now we're too far away. I need to cut, I need to cut some distance. There we go. Use the angle to cut the distance. Look at the back. Wish we were a lot closer getting more points, but... I think he's going to get us on that. I think he probably had a better chase run than us. So we're 0 for 3 today. Here on the short trip beta, but... No, we actually took that. We actually took the took that I barely anything. So we're one for three. So that's not horrible. Could be a lot worse. We're one for three today. So we got a couple more runs in us here for today's episode on this Supra. And then we're going to uh, call it a day for today. I am moving this weekend, so um, expect little laps in the videos for a day or so but then they will be back in full string once everything's set up at the new place 
once we uh, get settled in, everything will go back to normal, possibly to two uploads a day. And we're going against another Supra. So Supra on Supra, here's the jump. Now, I've never actually taken this Supra tune off of the jump, so I'm kind of worried that it's gonna like blow its body parts off. So we just knocked our fender a little bit, but it handled the jump pretty well. And uh, we're able to slow ourselves down in this section so we didn't destroy ourselves in the wall like we tend to usually do. I'm not gonna link that. I'm struggling to try and get those points because I was offline, but I was able to somewhat salvage those uh, clipping points for a respectable 59,000 point run, but probably gonna get uh, get walked on by this man, maybe. We'll see. Uh, no! Okay, so we got an advantage going the lead. Or into the chase. Sorry, we have an advantage on our lead. So Supra on Supra. This is just a little black incognito Supra here. Gonna you break ourselves a little bit? Oh, I see what he's doing. Oh, Supra on Supra jump! Did not hit him on his door still. It was actually a very close jump on this. I think that's the closest I've ever jumped into somebody on a tandem battle. We actually have a good tandem run right now. Uh, until as I say that, we uh, come low, but he's going to come low with us. So, not a bad chase run. Oh, the dude just died. And then we tagged him. That was a really nice jump. I'm going to want to watch that jump. I think we got the win. Yeah, we definitely took the win. Barely, but we took the win. Look at this. Boop. That was almost that was almost perfect. We have to rewind that. Change camera view. Get it from uh, the wheel, the wheel aspect. Let's see what we got. I looked a lot closer when I was actually tandeming. But that's not a bad that's not a bad little uh bad little jump in there. Uh I can dig it. Definitely can dig it. We did take the win. He got a way better uh, chase than us, though, but we did end up taking the win, just barely. So, we are uh, 2 4 now, or I lost count, but we are up 33 now. So, definitely this Supra can, can take it, can do what it needs to do here on the Torque Drift. I'm going to hit up uh, Kelly Banks, where I usually end up tagging the wall and completely screwing up my line, but we're going to give it a shot in the Supra. Uh, I don't have unlimited tires. Oh, can I share my settings? Forza Horizon 4. Um, YouTube comment right there from my uh, wheel setting video. I'm going to definitely be sharing my uh, wheel settings for Forza Horizon 4 once I get it fully uh, figured out. Been messing with those settings. So we are here at Cali Bank. Looks like it's the full track. Pretty straight on. Initiate in. Definitely scraping a little bit. Nice on the wall though. Hit those clips. Keep my points positioned this way. Clipping the cones. Hard on the e-brake to try and stay off this wall so we don't smack really hard in the wall. Oh, we got a good run. Don't screw up as I say that. As I say that, we get a little bit of frame rate lag and we uh, kind of screw ourselves on that. But we are able to salvage a very decent 90,000 point run. That was a pretty uh, pretty nice wall ride actually. I was uh, a little worried there at first, but he did best us with 95. That was a nice wall ride. If I wouldn't have uh, tagged the wall on that second part and linked it all, I probably could have gotten way higher. But so this is gonna be all about the chase in this run. So hopefully we can uh, not get frame rate lag and we can uh, Get a decent chase. Send her in. Kind of mirroring him a little low though, but we are okay. We're kind of losing him now, but we're going to gain him up right here. Still gaining tandem points though. That's the main thing right now. If we were closer, we'd be getting more. Oh, and there's the frame rate lag from the smoke. So that is going to definitely hurt me right there because I know he's got a way better chase run. Unfortunately, it's probably going to best us on that one unless he crashed. He did not best us. Well, he bested us, and we didn't lose. 
I thought it said win for a minute. We lost by 10. She did best us by 24. So, pretty close battle on Calic Banks. Unfortunately, we're unable to, uh, to take that win. So I think we're going to do one more race here before the end of this episode off. And I think we're going to go back to Hakon to No Fears and see if we can't get a better run here on No Fears and try and get that uh, 2,000 2, credit payout. So if you guys like this and you keep wanting to see the beta videos, but pretty soon it will be real videos on the actual game when it releases, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see on the beta. Let me know. If I can do it, I will. We're going against the same man. Redemption for days right now. I'm going to take a page out of his book. As you guys know, follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. I'm going to initiate sooner. And that sooner initiation just definitely screwed us up. So now we got to somewhat make this wall ride the best we can. I'm going to try to do a little uh, shimmy shake. He's probably going to really mess him up in the chase, and I feel bad doing that. Because I hate when people do that to me, and I just did it myself. So, but I was trying to trying to do it. This man did get a still a way better lead run than me, so he's probably gonna best me. So we'll probably end this off after this. So if you guys like these sorts of video videos, beta videos, I do appreciate all the support on this series with all these videos. Um, apparently, I'm just you know, smacking into this man. I do appreciate all the support with this series on this beta. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Big thank you to the game devs for allowing, you know, the content. And uh, big thank you to you guys for uh, coming back and watching. Yeah, it was a bad run. <laughs> Come back and watching and uh, continuously showing support to the game because I'm sure the game developers do appreciate all the support you guys are showing to them. We did best in the chase, but we still did lose. So that's gonna do it here for this episode. A little look on Supra. Big thank you to the subscribers that asked me to do a look into my Supra because uh, he was trying to get the Supra set up. So you can try this tune if you'd like. Just uh, tune it up like I did and see if you like it. So until next time, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.